Any vehicle sitting for extended periods of time may have a battery that loses its charge. Most cars have a small but continual current drain caused by the memory circuits and accessories. These current drains are called parasitic loads. Some vehicles may have a parasitic drain of more than 30 milliamps. Typically, the parasitic load is in the 5 to 25 milliamp range. This can be checked through the use of the ammeter. Let's see how that's done. Make sure the battery is fully charged before testing. Disconnect all high current items such as automatic leveling controls and underhood lights. On vehicles equipped with a factory installed anti-theft system, there may be a higher than normal current reading if the resistor pellet contained in the key is in contact with the sensor in the ignition switch. On these cars, take the ignition key out of the ignition. Disconnect the negative battery cable and insert the ammeter in series. This vehicle has a parasitic current drain of 13 milliamps, which is well within the manufacturer's recommendation. Be careful when performing this test that you don't open one of the vehicle's doors. This will increase current flow and possibly blow the meter's fuse. An excessive parasitic load can be as low as 50 milliamps on some vehicles. Always check the manufacturer's specifications for acceptable parasitic load. If the test indicates an excessive parasitic load, check for an interior light that may be on all the time. The circuits can usually be isolated by removing the fuses one at a time until the load is eliminated. If the cause of the load cannot be found after removing the fuses, disconnect the lead connecting the alternator to the battery. It's possible that a defective alternator rectifier bridge could cause an excessively high parasitic load.